three words to describe my experience at UD would be supportive, adventurous, valuable, life-changing, proud, I'm extremely proud of myself and all that I've done, rewarding, memorable, fun. It definitely was so much fun um, and I was able to meet incredible people, do incredible things that I never thought I would. Exciting, exhilarating, humbling and innovative, comforting, impactful, just special, unexpected, fulfilling, very well done. Grateful literally for everything, for my friends, for the professors, for the school itself, just like everything, I've loved it so much. Just having that one-on-one -on -one uh, preceptorship is just really awesome because you really get to feel what it's like to be a real nurse doing 12-hour shifts and having patients of your own. We have a great faculty, um, great staff, and great teachers who not only help us with learning the content but gives us hands-on experience as well. Starting clinical sophomore year just kind of like gets our feet wet so that when we do get up to senior year you're not like shell-shocked by what you see in clinical. It just builds that confidence at a young age as a younger nurse and it really just helps us excel in this program. I just can't wait to be able to interact with patients and treat them and watch them get better. The athletic training is really unique because you know you get to work hands-on with those athletes from the moment that they are injured until they are back onto the field. This is a really special occupation you could have because you're helping people in the most vulnerable points in their life. I was like, this is the coolest thing ever. Honestly, the thing that stands out to me the most right now is the class I'm taking right now with Dr. Richter. Um, it's a human anatomy course, cadaver course. I think I've honestly learned more in this class in the past two months than I, I ever have in this short of a time span. Being able to see how the body works like in the lab compared to with a book was an experience that everyone should have. I have a very strong interest in nutrition and that background in patients' health. I believe in holistic health and I think that starts with teaching people how to be healthy. The health behavior science is all about like helping the community learn about health and program planning and creation. And so I want to do that within the community. So it's important as a doctor to be able to understand those things, but the social determinants and the social impact of food is something that I I was really interested in um, and something that I hope to be able to take into my practice and benefit my patients in the future. I just loved the curriculum of it and it was very broad but it hit every aspect in like the health field so I was exposed to many different um, areas of it while still be having it be concentrated in like the promotion of like health independence and wellness and it helped steer me into rehabilitation, which is what I want to go to post-grad. I really, really enjoy the chemistry. It's really cool how much it does actually pertain to patient care, and there's so many things that you can test for. So I like knowing the background. I like knowing what the patient has, what we can do to adjust it, why these levels are the way that they are. It kind of collaborates between having this background in the lab and also like being more on the front side of patient care. Going into clinicals and really being able to connect with people and you get those little compliments like you're gonna be a great nurse. You're like, thank you so much. You get like excited. I have gotten the chance to work with awesome researchers that are not within nursing, that are within the broader College of Health Sciences. And truly that has helped me um, become a better nurse because I've worked with them. We all work together too, not just like athletic training, you have like athletic training, engineering, um, designing. Everyone comes together to get this main goal of helping someone. Seeing it in live action, actually being at my rotations has made me feel like, okay, I'm in the right place. Like, healthcare is definitely what I want to do. Four years ago, I'm totally different now and I've grown so much as a person. Through the mentors, the research experience, and the opportunities at CHS, um, I don't think that I would have the foundation and the path that I'm on otherwise. I'll be attending Thomas Jefferson Medical College in the fall. And I am headed to PT school this fall. I'm going to Jefferson next year. I actually have a job for when I graduate um, at Nemours. I will be working as an adult ER nurse at the University of Michigan. Just finally seeing all your hard work come to fruition and you get into your graduate program and someday you'll have doc doctor behind your name because it's a doctoral program was it's just a pretty cool feeling. So I'm going to be working at the American Lung Association. So I was accepted to the critical care residency at Christiana Care so I'll be going through multiple different ICUs. Um, I actually got a job at Johns Hopkins. 
Um, and so I'm going to be working on their medical step-down unit. I would love to work on the unit that I currently work on, on the medical ICU. And it was a dream of mine to work at that hospital, so it's going to be really awesome. And UD really prepared me to work there. I'm going to be going to the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill um, to be pursuing my doctorate in physical therapy. I'm very excited to see where I'll end up after graduating from UD.